Yo, what is up guys, Blade here back with a new tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to install custom maps such as adventure maps, survival maps, worlds and stuff like that onto your Minecraft. So this tutorial was suggested by X Santa Claus XX, Dan Fan, Carrot Craft and Hunting Zap. If you guys want to suggest a tutorial go ahead and comment your suggestion down below and your comment might get featured on my next video. Now I'll be showing you guys how to install custom maps for the single player as well as for your multiplayer server later on in the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and navigate to these two sites. One is Minecraft Maps and the other one is Planet Minecraft. Minecraft Maps is a really good site to find really good custom maps. Now upon arrival you'll be presented with tabs over here on the categories of the maps they have and the latest maps here which are maps that are being uploaded and the most downloaded which are these here and you can click those to check them out if you want to. Now let's say you want an adventure map, so simply click on this tab here. Once you arrive you'll have hundreds of maps to choose from. Now you want to pay close attention to the Minecraft version here because this decides which version of the Minecraft you will be need to play uh, with these maps. Now I found out that any maps that do have versions lower than the latest version of Minecraft which happens to be 1.8.1 at the moment would automatically convert themselves to the latest version. Meaning if you found a map that is uh, say 1.7.10 but you really want to play it on the latest version not to worry you'll be able to do that. So let's click on this Metro Post Apocalypse map here and you'll be presented with some information about the map and maybe pictures of it as well. Now if you scroll down a little you'll see they include a texture pack that you might, to, uh, might want to use while you play these maps. Now this is optional but if you do, don't know how to install texture packs I'll annotate and link a video that explains how to do so. To download this map scroll up and click the download now button. This should take you to a Mediafire download. Go ahead and click the download here, sit wherever you want to find it. And uh, once it's done downloading, we'll leave the file where it is for now and take a look at Planet Minecraft. Alright, so this is Planet Minecraft. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about this site. It offers mods, texture packs, servers, and of course custom maps for Minecraft. Now they do offer two tabs, one over here which shows the recently updated, latest, popular, and most downloaded maps. And from there you have a subcategory dropdown which you can use to narrow down your maps to its theme. You can also search a map that you want for say you, uh, you've seen a map that you liked on YouTube and you know the name of the map, you can tap it in here, which I'll be doing right now. So let's say I want Herobine's Mansion, let's type that in here. And there we have the map itself. Click on it and you'll be presented with the usual previews, videos and description. And you just want to click download world save here, this should take you to another site and here we click download again. And there we go, we just save it here. Alright, and now that's uh, about it. Now we're going to go over on how to uh, install the map itself. Alright, so now that we have the maps that we wanted, I'll now show you guys how to just simply install them. So you want to open up any kind of folder, it doesn't matter which, I'll use the libraries folder here. Now you want to click on the address bar here and type in percent app data percent, just like that. Hit enter and now you want to go into your dot minecraft folder. Now you want to locate where the maps you were, uh, maps you saved were. I have it on my desktop here. So now you just want to uh, now you want to make sure that you have a program called WinRAR installed onto your computer so you can extract these zip files. If you don't have WinRAR, I'll link it down below in the description. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and just get it and install it if you don't have it. So go ahead and extract these maps like so. And we will now open uh, one. You want to make sure that uh, to go into a folder that is the name of the map, it must have these types of files like data, dim, player data, region, level data, and stat files. After you make sure of that, go back and drag only that folder onto your desktop. And now in the .minecraft folder, go into a folder called saves and drag and drop in the maps folder just like that. Launch your Minecraft, go into single player and choose the name of the map according to the folder name and there you go, you have your custom map. And um, you can also delete the .zip file that you got in the beginning too, if you, uh, you don't need that. So yeah. Now we're going to go over on how to install custom maps to your Minecraft server. This is assuming that you already have a server made, and if you don't have a server made but want one, I'll link a server tutorial on the screen right now. So simply open up your server folder here, and delete the world fo uh, folder here. And take the folder, uh, map folder that you want on your server, and rename that folder to world, just like that. And drag it into your server folder, and go ahead and log into your server and it should be there. And that's about it. If you're new to Minecraft, check out the first link in the description, which should take you to my playlist which has tutorials for beginners on Minecraft. And uh, this video should really help you guys out a lot, so be sure to check them out. 
And that is about it for the video. If you have any problems, leave them down below in the comments. We'll try my best to reply. And be sure to like the video if it helped and subscribe if you're new. Peace.